Hey KOZ guys, it's TJ Garaney and Rick McGee, your KOZ leadership here, coming to you for our October vlog. And this month it's archery, and Rick just got a new bow, so that's all you hear about is Rick's new bow. Hey, I'm just so, so excited about archery season. First time in a few years that I've been this excited. So had a great season last year though, but man, super excited about my new Matthews. So um, this month is archery. You know, it's one of the one of the favorite months of the boys. I mean, we've had boys shoot so long that their fingers become bloody. I mean, they just love to shoot. And really, a couple of tips on the whole archery thing would be um, one is uh, make sure you have gear that they can use. Uh, the Genesis bow is the standard. And by the way, mem. Uh, uh, Matthews will sell those bows to you as a KOZ leader at a special rate and so you just contact the office we'll get you that order form um, but shoot the Matthews bows if you don't have some that you can shoot um, I'd say maybe Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops would be the place to go to uh, work with their uh, marketing staff or their bow shop and see if they'll let you get in there and get some shooting done um, you don't want them to have a bow that they can't shoot. You don't want them to try and pull back Rick's bow at 80 pounds or whatever he has it at. Right. And, <laughs> and uh, so, but archery is so much fun. Um, and really, one of the things Rick brought up was that, um, man, for some of you guys, you've been doing archery every October for five years. And uh, so what are some creative things you can do to change that up? You know, one thing we, we've done for a couple of years is used a 3D archery target. So instead of a block where you're just giving them a, a, a bullseye, which is great, don't, don't hesitate to do that. And do it again if that's the only thing you've got. But uh, if you can get your hands on a 3D archery target, maybe some guy in your church just practices with it. It's in his backyard. It'd be as simple as saying, I'll having him come and help you. But uh, using a 3D archery target, if, if you have the woods and you can do this and you got multiple 3D targets or multiple block targets, put them in different positions, down a hill or across a little creek or a draw and give the boys some real live uh, shooting experience of what would happen in the woods if that was a, and make the story up, that's a black bear or that's a oh that's man an when you when you add story to it so good and, and it just becomes that boy can go with that in his imagination and just it's so good when he does that so. and uh don disco he uh he's had tripods that were set up and so you know even tree stands where if there's an an opportunity for you to do that safely what a, it just changes the the story the feel of that and uh, and it trains him in a really a real life situation you you put a boy you teach him how to put a harness on when he when he Amen. starts hunting from the stand yeah. he's gonna have to learn a harness at that point if he hadn't already and then you get him up there if you got a stand you you show him how to put it together safely that's another fun thing and we've done it is to show boys how to put a ladder stand together and get it up on a tree and how to ratchet strap it in and well, some of our guys, we don't have trees that big. That's right. Most so things maybe, aren't quite maybe, as big in yeah, Texas. Maybe, uh, maybe a pop-up blind. Oh, shoot two, out, a pop -up shoot out of a pop-up blind. Anything like that that you guys can create, those different elements, a true hunting experience element instead of just shooting you know, the Genesis bow to the target, Genesis bow to the target, which is great for the first time, guys, second time even. Um, and the Don Disco has even done these deals where um, – He'll do this Olympic shooting thing where he'll set target at 30, 50, 70 yards and challenge the boys and have prizes if they can even, you know, come close you know or what, whatever. You know what happened to us last year here at my church is we did that exact thing, and we had some cool uh, socks that were donated to us, warm wool socks, and some cool camouflage that was donated. And so the winners – took you know they took some of that stuff home it was incredible and the boys were fighting for it. i mean shooting hard for it they wanted to win <laughs> matter of fact the last footage of competition was 50 yards the boys were shooting those genesis bows elevating them yeah and and hitting a target at 50 hilarious yards. hilarious great. uh another thing that um that really captured our uh, our hearts and and trying to you know talk with you guys a little bit is um, about the little boy who doesn't want to participate or the boy who 
maybe separates himself. Sometimes and, a boy will, if he's struggling with something, or sometimes they just want to be alone, don't they? It's mm -hmm. not a big deal. But there's a lot of times a boy, especially if he comes from a stressful moment at home, something just happened, or he just got grounded for grades, or something's happened, and and or as you've experienced, he's struggling with the the who loves him and mm -hmm. and the maker of his soul and and so that boy will find himself you might find him shooting by himself or maybe he doesn't want to be a part of the gang and yeah he, he doesn't want to off. shoot at all yeah, he yeah. Just, so you just we encourage you to be paying attention this month for that boy and be praying about what your conversations like don't get hung up with your other htl buddies you know chewing it up and having a or big time shooting together. competition with them yeah that's our big thing isn't it? It, Ricky has a Rick McGee has a real problem with that. He right. just wants to shoot his bow. Right, it takes one to know one. Is that <laughs> what I'm hearing? But be ready to go after that boy. Go visit with him. One of your men, especially one of maybe the men, one of your leaders, your HTLs, is close to that boy, and send him over there and say, "Hey, Jimmy's over there, really not acting." You know, stuff. and we've had story after story where um, where a guy will just be prompted to go to a boy who's isolating himself or who's been kind of off that Saturday, you notice something different with him and spend time with him. And, and the, you know, conversation circles around to Romans 10, nine, and you know, the boy's praying for Jesus in his heart. And uh, so, yeah, man, those moments can be golden. Just be with the boys. It's four hours, focus on the boys, just love on those boys, be there for them. It's a great time for men. It's a great time for us, but be on mission. Be, be missional. That's what I would encourage you to think and pray as a group as your men meet together to plan uh, October and Archery. Uh, it's important. Uh, it's fun, but it's also stay on mission. Stay on mission. Don't, don't lose your way on the activity. A lot of great stuff coming up for the end of the year and for next year. Hunting season's coming for us. Don't forget yourself as well to go and and take some quiet time in the woods go fishing a little bit i'm actually going to go here pretty quick go hike a, a mountain and uh, i'm setting up my hunting a little bit and figuring out what weekends i'm taking some boys out hunting and so push into that stuff start thinking ahead a little bit i'm we're all busy we are we're all busy but you're on mission we're uh, we got a project here and it's uh and it's anointed Lord's called us to it, so let's uh, let's do do well in that. Um, until November, I guess that's it. Regulators, mount, mount up. up.